that's how good this brand is. It's just a really good brand. If you guys can see it, it's just like a sport top. Um, I think that's called a racer back. Whenever you see that like that, that's called a racer back. So. can see it it's just like a sport top um i think that's called a racer back whenever you see that like that that's called a racer back so i'm not positive what it's worth but i know it's valuable I and mean, there's nothing wrong with it there's no there's no holes there's no oh i see a stain there may be a couple uh, maybe a one or two i don't know they were on the rack for a dollar. I may be able to wash this. It's like polyester too. It's just not very good material. It's kind of kind of stretchy. So we'll see. It's not very visible, but um, this was on the dollar rack as well. And I kind of I thought I bought more than two items. Was this from the store? I don't even remember. Yeah, I think it was. This was also a dollar. It's the only reason why I bought it. Um, I usually don't buy Orvis if it's women's, but this is a nice little Orvis. Um, it's kind of like, it's not like corduroy, but it's got kind of ribbed, I guess you call it ribbed. It's just a V-neck top, you know, long sleeve, kind of like a sport top, like a sweater. It's kind of, it's heavier like a sweater, so I guess can consider that to be a sweater. Alright, got some belts and stuff in here also. They gave me some masks at the Goodwill, so I got a couple masks to take with me tomorrow. Um, remember I was saying that Hoka is a really good brand. That's my receipt. Uh -oh. these, these were $6.99. I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to I'm gonna throw them over there. And we're going to get them washed. I'm going to... Um, I'm, all, I'm not going to clean the bottoms. I, I never really do. I, sometimes I scrub them up a little bit, but these are in pretty good shape. They're a little dirty on the inside, but that's okay. Somebody's just going to get in them and run, sweat, and all that. But I'll get all this cleaned really nice. I may even pull, pull the um, pull the sole out and clean the sole. Um, yeah, that, I might be able to get that clean. They are pretty dirty on the inside. Looks like they're running, and you know, dirt. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, Hoka's do very well. They they sell really well. So pick them up whenever you see them. They do sell really good. Uh, this was six ninety nine. I didn't see. I didn't see the the bottom, but this is a Joseph about. I think it's about. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's brand new. It's just a plaid blazer. Um, jacket. It may be a suit jacket. I'm not really sure. Um, cool motion comfort performance stretch comfort system performance separates. Okay, so this is this is a suit separate. So this is actually something that you could still wear. You know, you could wear this with jeans, whatever. It can be a sport coat, uh, kind of like a blazer. But um, I'm not really sure what the value of this was. It was cheap. It was only seven bucks. Anything new with tags, I like to pick up. It's not a bad brand. It's not a great brand, but it's not a bad brand either. So maybe like 30 bucks. So we got a bunch of belts. These are really cool too. I got some really cool belts. All right. So yeah, I was watching some guy yesterday and he pulled a, a Ferragamo belt out and it was just a regular plain belt. It didn't even look like it was anything special. You had to really get up close to it to really see what it was. So. I was like, you know, I'm going to look at the belts today. And I found a Patagonia belt. Excuse me. This belt, I'm not really sure. I have to look it up a little bit further. It's got a big B on it. I don't know if you guys can see what that says. I can't really see it. I couldn't see it in the store. Give me my magnifying glass. Um, It just says B... Oh man, it might it could be Billabong. It, could, it says size medium large. I'm not really sure. It could be Billabong. It's a possibility. It's kind of tooled a little bit. 
It's kind of got some tooling going on in there, but I just thought it was really, really cool. It's just a really dope belt. It's really neat. So it's, it's um, obviously it's genuine leather. It's a really good tough belt. You don't want to get beat with that belt when you're a kid. All right, so these two, I'm gonna grab both of these because they were actually, I'm probably gonna, I might sell them together. I'm not sure. Stay there, Patagonia. Stay. That belt's probably worth $30, so I grabbed it. All the belts are $2. Um, these are really built really well. Solid brass buckles. There's another one. These are actually made by the same company. They have screws that actually hold the belt together. Um, that's when you know you got a good belt when it's like screwed together. <laughs> these are really thick. These are actually holster belts. These are for um, holsters, for gun holsters. Um, they are made. They are made by. What's it say? I can't. Galco, I think. Is that what it says? Maybe I can read the other one. Yeah, G A L C O. Galco. You guys can see that in there. Galco. Handmade. Size 40. Usually when you see those two numbers, that's when you know it's a gun belt. Has the, Those two numbers are. Uh, 40 over 100. I, I'm, I'm not really sure positive, but you do see that a lot. This one even says, is it Gra Galco? It's Galco, G-A-L-C-O. It even says it on the buckle. Can get that to, can we get some focus? Focus, Daniel San, focus. Ah, oh, focus, very good. Very good, Daniel San. Um, I'm not sure what these were worth. They're only $2. I know they're worth probably at least 25 bucks a piece. I'm thinking maybe I could get 40 for both of them. They're gonna go, um, they're gonna go priority. They're definitely gonna be over a pound. So, uh, but uh, man, long day. This is a long video, man. I might have to cut this up into two videos. 37 minutes. Yeah, I might just have to do that. I might have to do a part one and a part two. Um, the watches can be part one. Patagonia. I never. I didn't know they made belts. I guess they make everything. Can we see that? Can we get a good... There we go. Patagonia. So, I think this is vintage. Made in USA. This is a really small belt. It's like... 30. Is that what it says? 30. Is it 30? I think it's 30. It ain't gonna fit me. I am definitely not no 30. I'm a 36, so... I'll stretch out a little bit there. Ugh, my drawers are sticking to my butt. All right, so I think I can get thirty bucks for that. So just because of the name, it's not nothing fancy. This belt I thought was really really cool. There's a reason why I picked it up. Um, and I've heard of Hickok. It's another good brand. Um, this is Cowhide. It says Hickok Belt Makers. This is another really good belt. Um, this I believe is probably the same thing. This is probably like a holster type of belt. It looks like it's um, silver plated, the buckle. The belt's in really good shape. It's not like, it's not like all dented up. It's not crooked. So usually when a belt has been used a lot, it's got an arch, you know, they arch. And that's usually when I get a new belt, but I don't wear leather belts anymore. I wear these stretchy ones. I wear the ones like this, the ones that, that you can stretch. They're just, they're so comfortable. I can't. When you get older, it's all about comfort. It's not even about style anymore. You don't even care. <laughs> but uh, I still got my style going, but... Some things I prefer to be to be comfortable. All right, so what do we got in here? This, I thought, was really cool. Here is the seat. So, I hope them stickers come off. They put stickers on the top of it. I gotta get these off. The longer you let these stickers set in, the more damage they do to the material. The glue just really sets in, you know, so you just gotta kinda, you gotta take them off right away. So, come on, there we are. Right, I'm gonna try to wipe this seat down, maybe a little goo gone. 
to get it looking a little bit better. It's definitely not used. If it is, it's not very used. This is um this is a saddle, just a big seat. A big seat for a big butt. No. But um really cool. Got another one there. And they put them everywhere. Like one's not enough. I guess they figure if you don't see it on one side, you'll see it on the other. They probably do that for the work. Or they people just chunk chunk, you know, just goofing around. Who knows? It's a little dirty on the bottom. There is a couple stains there. I'm gonna try to get those out. With the white part, it might be a little easier to get that out. I could maybe even use bleach or um, something like that, some type of cleaner. But this is a really cool seat. Um, it's got the spring. I see these seats selling for um, as high as fifty, sixty dollars. So I think I paid. Um, I paid six bucks for the seat. They even have the, the price all over the bag. Like I think this is the original bag that the seat came in. So I believe it's new. It just probably sat for a while. They never used it. So it might be, maybe not. Oh, there's another price there. God, there's a price tag everywhere on this thing. Every single direction. All right. Yeah, this was never used. I can tell by looking at the hardware. Harder to get it off of the metal, of course. All right. Probably should have prepped all this stuff first. Kind of dragging the dragging this video out, but I don't know. <sighs> don't sound too enthusiastic, do I? All right. Um. So this is just a really cool seat. 50, 60 bucks for this. Somebody might have a bike also that they that they may be building or that they just want to just spruce it up. Um, this is probably going to be for an old school, um, like 10 speed or mountain bike or whatever, something like that. So there you go. Um, I'm going to try to get at least 50 for this. So it will definitely be worth it for what I paid because I did pay I did pay six bucks for that. Alright, so, this was brand new. Anytime I see, I think this is, is this tapes? I did see one sell for like $25, 25 or 30 So I picked this up as brand new sealed. Anytime I find audiobooks new, I always pick them up. If I can get them really cheap, I think it was $3. Alright, so this is the Ultimate Alliance, and it's also Forza. So this is cool. That's really neat. Um, Burnout Paradise, I'm not really sure about that. I just picked these up. Harry Potter, I don't even think I even looked it up. I think I just grabbed it because it's Harry Potter. But I don't have the Xbox original to play this. So, I'm not going to be able to play it. So, I don't know what it's worth. Figures, I would miss this tape. I don't know why they tape them shut. They don't want people stealing the games, but I'm going to open them because I'm not buying a game if it's scratched. That's the reason why I open them in the store and just close them back up, you know. So, but this is actually in really good shape for it, as old as it is. Let me see. It probably wasn't played that much. Ah, no, nah, it's not in very good shape. I think I bought this one on impulse. Actually, I think this was in the cart and I didn't want it. I think I wanted to put that back. I don't know how that ended up. So. All right, I'm taking the stickers off. But this looks like a cool game. Burnout. That one's in good shape. Then we have the... This is cool because it's two games. This game is actually worth about, I think, like $20. Because um, it has Forza and it, it... I've sold this game before. This is a, dub, a double game. I've sold this game, and I think that's about what I sold it for, a decent amount. Okay, all right, so I think I checked both these discs, and they were both, things always look better when you're in the store, then you get them home, and they look like crap. All right, so that one's good, that one's really good. My son might want to play, yeah, that one's okay, they're all right, they're not the greatest condition. I'm probably just going to pile them up and then just sell one big lot and get like $400 for my Xbox. So I'll definitely, I'll get my money back for those one day, one way or another. Okay, so here's a brand that you guys need to know. Really, really good brand. I'm going to take the tag because I 
put the tag on the thing. And what did I pay for this? Wow, I only paid $5. I paid $5 for this. This brand is called Zero Restriction. Whenever you see that tag, or whenever you see that logo, the Z and the R, because that's what that is, it's a Z and an R, this is a really good golf brand. It's really expensive. Um, the bigger and heavier the jacket, the more you're going to make. Um, usually they sell for a good bit, you know, 40, 50, 60. Um, if you can find them new, you're going to get a hundred bucks for them. They're just, it's a really expensive golf brand. It's really good, high quality. This one's a little, a little lighter. Um, I better get this listed soon.